call in now, boys. Hey there, folks. This is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. I've got Capper from Capper Outdoors and Joe the Farmer. And we've got other YouTubers showing up today, and we've got Angry Cows. <laughs> so today, come along as we bring in a few more other YouTubers that are in my space in the farm and ranch and garden. And we've got Carolina Hill Country coming out, Joe's Outdoor Experience, Joe the Farmer. And Capper Outdoors, and we're going to be having a blast. Also, Joe Capper. Joe Capper. So we got like Joes. three Joes coming. <laughs> yes. It's a day of Joes on the farm. Ain't Woo. afraid of work. I ain't afraid to play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. So first thing we got to do, guys, is move the cows. This is the first time Joe and all these folks have even seen any of this. So the cows are a little standoffish around strangers, but as soon as I turn and walk away, they're going to start mooing and hollering at me. So we'll get them all moved over to this new paddock right here. So we got 33 head of Black Angus cows right here, guys. And what we're doing, we move them almost every, well, we move them every 12 hours in the summertime, but in the wintertime like this, we move them about every third day. So they're going to move into this paddock and they'll be able to eat the hay that's on the ground here and they're going to go for the green grass first so let's see what happens come on Tammy let's do it <laughs> chore number one check fresh green grass clover baby hey Hey, my friendly girl, my sweetie. Guys, these cows are about to pop. They are pregnant and ready to calve. We'll probably start having calves in about 10 days. So we're gonna ride down here where I bury the tractor in the mud hole. The brand new Select Track electric tractor is stuck, big time stuck. I think we're gonna have to get the skid steer to get it out. So I came right down through here mowing the day before yesterday. I did pretty good until I got around here where it was a little bumpy. You guys can see we're bumping around a little bit. There's a few holes right in there where the guy that cleared my land didn't uh, yeah. quite do what he was supposed to do and bury things up. We've got some ducks on the pond there. Bye bye wood ducks. So you can see where we've mowed and you can see where we're stuck. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she's pretty buried right up in there. And I destroyed my uh, weeping willow tree that's been growing there for five years in this mud hole. And basically, guys, I got down here and the tire just got to that point right there. And that was it. We were just stuck, just literally stuck in the water. So we're going to have to get the skid steer, hook a chain, probably right around here or here kind of snatch this thing out this way, give it a little slide that way to keep us from hitting the fence. Now, I did hit the fence up there also with the bucket. So we are fully buried up. That is buried. I'm just having a little bit of trouble backing out here. It will pull forward. There he goes. Oh yeah, we're rolling now, boys. This is how to get a tractor, a stuck tractor, more stuck 101. You ain't pulling that 4,000 pound tractor. <laughs> oh, is he gonna pull me out by bare hand? Hang on one sec, let me, uh... Here we go. How's your uh, health insurance plan? Pretty good? I don't have health insurance. <laughs> what we're trying to do is get unstuck here, guys. Okay, let's get a bigger tractor. All right, 
We got another big fancy YouTuber here. What's up? This Hello, is Lord. Joe's Outdoor Experience, Joe. So, yeah, right, this is the nice first time you. we've met, man. Absolutely. We're gonna have some fun. We got a tractor hung up in the mud hole down there. Excellent. All these guys here. <laughs> and we're gonna see if we can get that tractor out. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty funny. Here's the idea. Go right there. Here goes nothing. you don't get stuck because you own a skid steer. <laughs> so guys, the reason this happened is because I'm not very smart in some ways and I'm very smart in other ways. This was not a very smart move. This area is really swampy and really wet. The ground kind of floats right here, okay? So when we drove an excavator across this before, you could feel the ground kind of wavy and it goes all the way over to there all the way through here it's just really really wet the way we're going to correct this problem is to stay out of here with anything other than the ventrac tractor the ventrac has such a low footprint it won't sink up and i can actually mow that but that is a swampy area really wet area it's not a wetland but it's really wet stays muddy all right guys we got some other guests coming in here from carolina hill country right yep. so we've yes. got hank and Hank's saying is said you can't, Hill. can't have the stank uh, without the Hank. That's right, yes. Yeah, <laughs> that one too. Yeah. 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 That one. And Byron. Uh, right? Byron Hill. Yep. yep. And you are an active uh, sheriff deputy, is that right? Uh, or uh, city police, police, city police, yeah. Okay, awesome, yep. awesome. So yep. he's about an hour away. Some of these guys came from as far away as 12 hours wow. away, so this is a big day yeah. on the farm. Mm -hmm. And you guys saw we got the tractor out, thank goodness. Now, yes. We got to get up there and see if we can start working on the lift. We got enough muscle here to put the lift together. Yeah, we'll do whatever you need, Josh. Let's and get uh, it done. We're we actually we... got a little, a little surprise for you as well. Oh, nice! Yeah. I like a surprise. Yeah. What is it? Here, you I get think I camera? know what it is. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, sir. It's wrapped in burlap sack. It's bound to be good. Is it a snake? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rusty Krusty, check yes, that sir. out. <laughs> so guys, in case you don't know, this is the Montana Dental Floss Farms door that was at the junkyard about three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And these guys saw it on the videos and went up there and scooped up the door and I said, man, y'all got my door. <laughs> so I called them up and they said, nah, that's not our door. We got it for you. So they got it as a surprise, man. Montana Dental Floss Farms. This is off of a C10 pickup, I guess first generation C10 pickup right here. That is gonna be hanging in the mega shop on the wall. That is wall art right there, right along with the tailgates and the grill for the old Willis Jeep. So, man, yeah. thanks. Dude, Probably appreciate yeah, that. That's awesome. Yes, thank you, man. Good appreciate job, Appreciate you letting guys. us come out today. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, it's a little gift for you. This man. is perfect. Got the perfect patina. Yeah, it's got some patina. It's got a little, <laughs> like you said, kind of crusty rusty. Crusty and rusty, that's what we like. So we've got help here and we're gonna put them to work. We're not gonna do the whole lift install, but we're gonna get this critter out of the box while I've got help and get it all mocked up on the floor. So let's open this up and see what we got. This is again, a tuxedo lift from Northern Tool and Equipment, right? Woo! <laughs> So we slide these two into 
the grooves that are on the pier poles. We slide this beam all the way up in there. These guys are doing a great job here. <laughs> We've already got our uh, wheel plates in place right there. We slide all that in, then we'll stand it up. There we go. Boys, we're getting there, man. That's awesome. So we know this end goes with the ramps. We've got the ramps down here. We've got this guy lined up. And we'll tell you guys how we got our numbers so that we could line everything up. We want it to be 100% centered with the other lift in here. And these bays, one bay there, one bay there, you can see that the bays are just a little bit spread apart compared to the other two bays. So we've got to center it in this doorway and we have our center line marked right here. So we've got a little bit of measuring, a little bit of head scratching, and we'll get everything lined up where it needs to go. This also comes with shims because we've got floor drains in here so the floor isn't completely level, all right? So we'll have to drill down into the concrete and get this thing mounted up. Good job, everybody. So guys, there's a little hook, this portion right here that goes on, and this is what we hang the ramps off of. You'll see that in just a second. This is a job, man. If I didn't have these guys here, it would have taken me days to get this up. Come on, Carolina boy, represent. It's Come terrible. on, represent. represent right. Carolina represent. boys. Where you want. Come this way. Come out. What, there it get, is. It, get it out. It's a bit of a struggle to get all these cables that's in the right place. It's kind of a, uh, just follow the instructions, but it's kind of tough. If I didn't have these other YouTubers here, we couldn't have done this. This is awesome to have good help. So guys, underneath here, there's a maze of cables that run back and forth. Those cables, are actuated by a huge cylinder right here. And that cylinder is ran by a pump, which is mounted right over there. So that's how all these cables come out, go up, and mount up through here. Hydraulic fluid's going in, guys. This has been a challenge. Yeah. I've got this the is also job. known as long life tractor preservative and floor preservative right now, right? <laughs> and it moisturizes as well, too. I don't know how this can take like four gallons of hydraulic fluid to run. There's no way. Hey, you think this guy's good or not? Look at this. Max, bam. Right on the line. Just about got her knocked out right here. We have raised it up successfully, but there's some linkage issues that we've got to get addressed. This is a job. It took Six people, well, Capper, how long did it take six people to do? Yeah. Six, six hours? Six plus. Yeah. Don't we have seven though? Seven, seven people? Of us? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you were walking around with the camera the oh, whole yeah, time. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it's a chore, guys. We'll walk you around this after everybody leaves. But while you guys are all here, thank you so much for coming and helping on the Stony Ridge Farm channel today. Yeah. Everybody. Thank you for having us. <laughs> uh, so again, guys, Joe the Farmer. Care, Joe the Farmer. Farmer. Forget Fama. about it. Fama. Uh, Carolina Ridge Life. Carolina Hill Country. Hill Country, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Have Joe more. the Farmer. Uh, tell me your channel. Sure, I'm Joe Outdoor Adventure. Joe's Outdoor Adventures. Capper Outdoors. Capper Outdoors. Hank Hill with just hanking around. Just hanking around. And you know Stony Ridge Farmer. And this guy doesn't have a YouTube channel right Go here. check out Back of the Pack 22. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot for joining me. We'll see yeah. you next time on the Stony Ridge. Yeah. Woo! Don't forget to check out Northern Tool. This is a tuxedo lift from Northern Tool. I'll post a link down there uh, in the video description for you guys. Really awesome tool. We'll get a lot more footage of this and we'll be comparing it to the two post lift very soon. See you next time. Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge. Woo! Hey, Blooper reel.
adjust down here underneath. I you, gotta adjust it. You need a bolt stretcher? Because see how this is straight up and down? This way, so that when we throw it, it's Tennessee work more. ethic. <laughs> oh. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang out. Make sure you watch Kepper Outdoors too. Oh, sorry, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> That's a no. self-promoting fool right there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess up my grass. Yep. It automatically shuts off after 20 seconds. So. Yeah. See, at the end it goes. <laughs> <laughs> this is again a tuxedo lift from Northern Tool and Equipment, right? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it ain't moving anymore, Josh. Something's wrong.